Hello, welcome back to Thailand. Today we are in Chiang Mai. We are attending the Chiang Mai Coffee Week at the Zheng Jai Market, I think it's called. Sorry if I've mispronounced that. But yeah, it's been on all week. Today's Saturday, so one more day left tomorrow. So apparently there's like 200 coffee stands here, lots of food stands, um, local produce. So we're gonna see what we can find. See, just the smell walking through this market is like already amazing. There's like so many different scents of coffee everywhere. Smells so good. Thank you so much. It's called passion fruit. Oh, passion fruit? Yeah. Wow. So, first up, we've got passion fruit coffee. Wow, that's quite nice. Very kind of like iced tea, but with a coffee taste. Yeah, I'll give it a try. It smells like. It just smells like coffee. Doesn't taste like coffee at all though. Not for me that way, I don't like that. No, I don't really like um, syrups and stuff in coffee. I don't, that's not very nice for me. Do you like that, Sharon? I mean, I'm not sure I would get it again, but it was nice to try something different. Yeah, let's go see what else there is. I've absolutely no idea what that guy was doing there with that coffee on like a motorbike, but it looked really cool. I need to get a cold brew today. Cold brew is literally my favourite kind of coffee. It's so tasty, so we're going to try and find one of them somewhere. I think they were only selling it by the bottle. Um, we just want like a cup. Is that a sweet corn tart? Yeah, I was going to say, I've never, I've never saw sweet corn on a tart before. It's interesting. That's a first, definitely. Oh, look at the brownie, Sharon. We've got strawberry tart for me and egg tart for Alan, 10 baht each, so that was good. So we're going to go and get a coffee and then eat these. Shouldn't be too far to find a coffee in here though. <laughs> Hello. Um, one iced Americano. Regano? Yeah. Iced Americano? Yes, okay, please wait some of these, sir. Okay. Miss Marie. Oh, wow. Sonica. Yeah. Sonica. Yeah. Sonica. I'm loving all these freebies. <laughs> oh wow, that's delicious. It smells really sweet. Nah, again, that's just not for me. I don't like sweet kind of things like that. It's too black, aren't they? But stick to my black coffee. Enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. Got a little flour on it. Right, let's go have a coffee and cakes. Right, let's try this. Sweet flour's kind of cute. I mean, it's going to just be a black coffee. Yep. It's quite nice. It's just what we normally get, but as you walk around, we're going to try a couple of different things. And but it's our first coffee, so we're just going to stick to what we knew. Let's try this egg tart. Oh man! There's like custard in the middle. Lovely. We've been walking around this market. See some of the contraptions they've been using to like. Um, make coffee, I've n I wouldn't even know what to do with them, I wouldn't even know if it's a coffee machine to be put in front of me. Some of this stuff's just crazy. I have not had a strawberry tart in Adelaide. Probably the last one I had was my grandpa bought them to my house for my birthday, which was back in June last year. Oh! <laughs> Got it! Oh my god! Open your mouth. <laughs> mm. Wow. Is that good? Uh huh. Can you not tell? Yeah. They look like um, ice gems. Oh, ice. It's so cute. It's so sad, yeah. One pad 
Yeah. Right, we're having our first pad thai since we came back to Thailand. It looks tiny. It was also pre-made, but it bloody smells good. I'll go for the first test. <laughs> I love doing that. Really need to start eating at tables for my size. This is ridiculous. This size my stool. That's lovely. It's different noodles to what they normally use, but... And it's cold. <laughs> You're selling it well. <laughs> but it's nice. It was only 30 baht. It's about as cheap as what you'll get a Pad Thai here. Usually around 40 to 50 is what the cheap ones are, so... I mean, it's tasty. I know it's cold, but... For 30 baht, you can't really argue, can you? I don't think I really mind that it's cold. It's absolutely roasting today. It will taste like a Pad Thai. Oh, oh, one of my favourite dishes in Asia, by, by a mile. Thank you. Spicy. Thank you. Oh, sauce as well, okay. Thank you. So this is different. Crab sticks and soup. We will get back to the coffee, I promise. Oh wow, that sauce is unreal. It's sort of like, um, it's like a smoky hot sauce. Oh, oh wow, I like that. Hmm, I get what you mean. It's nice, isn't it? It's like sweet, smoky, spicy. Yeah. Probably not meant to just drink that, are you? I can't tell what that tastes like. Kind of just like a stock cube, I think. Is it? it looks like a pint of really flat beer, doesn't it? Oh. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to drink that part. <laughs> it does just taste exactly like a tastes like a stock cube, doesn't it? This market is so amazing. Like all the shops, like the coffee shops, even like your clothes stands, souvenirs are all local brands within Chiang Mai. So coming here like you're supporting the community as well so it's so nice yeah it's all kind of like handmade and handcrafted little things like all oh, this posters yeah soap as well sometimes when you walk past them um, you actually see the person making the stuff themselves literally right behind the counter it's so cool to see it actually getting created in front of you we're doing something crazy what have we got Butter beer, mojito, honey espresso, orange espresso, tequila sunrise, summer peach espresso, and black rose. Try mojito since that's my favourite cocktail. Okay, let's get a mojito what do you coffee. Think? Let's go. Mojito coffee, I've never even heard of this before, so I'm sure it'll taste absolutely gorgeous. This is the strangest way I've ever seen a coffee getting made. She's as if she's literally making us a cocktail. Excited to try it though. What, I got to get a cocktail now? Yeah, it says the coffee's um, from Doi Chang. I don't know where that is, but in Thailand somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, this is going to be interesting. Let's see what it looks like. See, it has mint leaves and lime through it. See, to be fair, see, when sometimes when you get a mojito because of the it's like dark rum, it yeah. sometimes actually looks like this. Yeah, that's cool. Let's see if it lives up to my favourite cocktail. You know, it's actually not that bad. There you go, mojito coffee. <laughs> you get that like dark, like rich coffee taste through it. But it is actually very refreshing with the mint, like a mojito. Yeah, here we go, mojito coffee. That's absolutely amazing, wow. <laughs> oh my God, that is outrageous. It does taste just like a mojito, but with coffee in it, it's so strange. Oh, that is amazing. I've never had coffee with like lime or anything through it. 
but you can really taste the lime in the mint, like really strong and it's quite sugary. That's delightful, I wasn't sure it was going to be too uh, like watered down coffee, but um, no, that is absolutely amazing. If I ever see this again anywhere, I'm going to try it, and if you're ever anywhere that sells mojito coffee, then you have to give it a try. <laughs> Good choice, Shannon. <laughs> it's such a nice vibe here everywhere, it's not like other markets we've been to in Thailand and the rest of Asia, where it's like just chaos, which is amazing, but this one's very slow paced, relaxed, there's nice slow music on. Perfect because it's absolutely roasting today, so I couldn't have dealt with that if it was packed today. This could be my favourite market yet in Thailand, I would say. Absolutely loving it so far. Describe it as anything, it's like the ultimate like Sunday vibe. Like relaxed, good food, good coffee. Just relaxing. Nice like we've music all, behind us. Exactly. We've already been here for two hours and I can't see us leaving anytime soon. Definitely. Slowly is the sweetest thing And it won't change If I had it my way You would know that you are You're the coffee that I need in the morning You're my sunshine in the rain when it's pouring Won't you give yourself to me Give it all I just want to see Right, we're in a little store and we found somewhere that has loads of free samples, so we're straight over to that to try a couple. For sun, oh, sun dried roselle, mango chips, sweet potato chip, and oyster mushroom. I'm going over mango first, just to make a wee snack plate. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. 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 A sweet crisp, sun dried roselle. It's like roselle. it's a a flower. Who's going first? I'll go. Never seen this in my life. It's a bit tough. Alright, quite nice, quite like a cherry. On to the third. We have some lovely sweet potato chips. These look these look like the best so far. Yeah. Oh well. Wow. That's like a beat root. Right, here we go. I'll try the sweet potato one first. Lovely. I'm going to guess this is beetroot. It was beetroot, not just normal potato. Normal potato. <laughs> They're nice. I would eat them again. I would buy the packet, but we're in some sort of like um, organic store, so it's probably like 20 quid for the pack. These look a bit scary as well. They're nice. There's no smell at all. Alright. Doesn't taste so much. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've got much room for that. <laughs> right, I've just convinced Shannon to eat like a raw coffee bean and she's actually gonna do it. Oh my god. <laughs> Some guys laughing at me. Gosh, dude. Oh. Bad. Oh, it's just like, every time I bit it, it gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Right, let's go see if there's anything else that we've missed walking around this market. <laughs> we'll go for another wee lap. Yeah, I'm so glad we came here. I actually just found it. I follow like the Chiang Mai page on Instagram and they posted about it. So it was like a 30 minute walk from the the main square area from where we're staying and it was definitely worth it. We've just enjoyed our morning here, feel really relaxed, um, although it might have been a mistake getting a mojito coffee because now we're talking about going out for cocktails this afternoon so I don't know if that's the best shout. <laughs> yeah that was like the perfect Saturday afternoon we've spent here. We've been here for I'd say like maybe three hours just wandering around. It's really clean and it's really relaxed and chilled. The coffees are a little bit more expensive here, but it's like different coffees. So they come out of these little weird machines that like people press them down. They've got, like as we had, mojito coffees, all these kind of weird fruit coffees and cocktail variations of coffees. There's like weed coffees and stuff as well. It's like 
It's all stuff you wouldn't get in a coffee shop, but you come here and you try it. But we actually only tried two coffees because, I mean, there's only so much coffee you can drink in a day, but with quite a lot of wee tasters as well. Um, the hot chocolates, teas and stuff, little tasters, everything was amazing. Probably my favourite market we've been to so far in Thailand, so if they do anything like this again when we're here, we'll definitely come. I know Coffee Week finishes tomorrow, but I'm sure there'll be something else like this when we're on our travel, so we'll keep an eye out and hopefully stumble across something like this again.